Hey, what's up guys? I am so excited to take you guys on a tour today of my latest listing. This home is located at 2708 Cloister Lane in the Canterbury subdivision in Thompson Station. There is so much to love about this house, this neighborhood, and this town. I'm just really excited to show this to you guys. So come on, let's take a tour. All right, before we go in, let me just give you a quick rundown on the specs for this house. This house is four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and 2,506 square feet. It's gonna be priced at $665,000, and there are some just amazing things about this house that I can't wait to show you. So let's go check it out. All right, here we go. Guys, this house is just amazing. So you step in and you've got a small foyer here. There's plenty of room if you want to put a little piece of furniture or hang some art. A nice light and it's not hanging too low. I hate when you walk in and those lights are too low. You could easily be six foot, six foot two and walk under that light. Look, they even did like a little mini tray ceiling right there. Nice touch. Okay, so first of all, downstairs, except for these two bedrooms over here, you've got this engineered hardwood floor. I have had these floors in my house and these are just phenomenal. They hold up really well to dogs and kids. I know some people might say differently, but I have had really good luck with this exact same floor. So when you turn to the left here, straight ahead is a full bathroom. So I didn't mention to you guys outside, but this home is four bedrooms and three of the bedrooms are on the main floor. I think that's a huge plus. So you've got this full bathroom right here, and then over here to the right, you've got a full bedroom, and downstairs has crown molding everywhere as well, which is a nice touch. And then you've got another room right here to the left, and these rooms would just share this full bathroom. But what's really cool as you walk in, I'll show you guys this, this is just a coat closet. You come in here, you've got your stairs going up to the right, but what I was gonna say is, there's also a half bathroom right here. So a lot of times you've only got that full bathroom in the front and you have guests come over and they have to use this bathroom and your kids are also using it and it's not really clean. You don't have to really worry about that because you've got the half bathroom over here. All right, so then you step into the living room, kitchen, and dining area, and check this out, guys. It's got the tray ceiling, crown molding, ceiling fan. There's the engineered hardwood. Fireplace over here. Built-in speakers, in case you like to listen to music or podcasts throughout the house. This is probably one of my favorite setups I mean, for uh, the house is only 2,506 square feet, but to me, utilizes the space really well. I mean, I've looked at million dollar homes that didn't have a space big enough for a table like this. I mean, that's a, I think it's a five or six foot table and there's room on each end. So, Really nice kitchen. It's got this quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances. There's enough space to put three stools or chairs there. Lots of cabinet space too. I mean, you've got that upper, the lower, down here. There's some over here. This is a pantry. It's just a pantry with like, normal pantry with some shelves. Little mini mudroom with this guy right here. What's up, dude? That's nice. That goes out to the garage. They're kind of packing and stuff, so we're not going to show you the garage. This is the laundry room. Just a normal laundry room, but I mean, enough space in here. It'd be nice if you put some maybe cabinets here and built-in shelves. Nice, just really neutral tile floor. This kitchen is great, though. If you like entertaining or having friends over or watching a game, I mean... You could be hanging out right here. Game is on right there. Maybe you've got some friends or family there, some other people there. 
people out in the backyard. I'll show you the backyard on my way out. Yeah, this is just a good setup. Like I said, it just utilizes the square footage really well. So I showed you those two bedrooms. Here's the third bedroom that's downstairs, which is the master. And look at this, they've got that engineered hardwood comes into the master. They've got a king size bed, so this gives you an idea, with a bunch of furniture, and it all still fits. Tray ceiling, ceiling fan. You've got that crown molding. Paint is in really good condition. It's just a nice neutral light gray paint. The wife has got a little desk over here, which I mean, look, that's happened to a lot of us since COVID, right? You've got two people in the family now that work from home. I mean, they don't build houses with two offices unless you got a couple million. So this is the master bath. It's got the gray cabinets here, granite here. This has got like that little kind of cranberry color in it, which is a classic. Lots of natural light coming through this big window, tub right here, and this shower is huge. It's got the glass doors. It's got a bench seat right there. Little notch taken out right there for shampoo. There's even a little glass corner piece as well for soaps. And then this master closet is just giant. I mean, look, so there's all this section for clothes. There's shelves on the top. This section for clothes. Clothes, clothes. I mean, this is plenty of space for the husband and wife. This isn't like a scenario where one of you has to put your clothes in a different room or anything like that. Not in this house. Okay, I think we've covered all of downstairs, except for outside. Let me just show you this room one more time. I'll just go slow. I mean, nice living room area, right? There's still plenty of space here to walk through. I mean, it's just a nice setup. They've got the gas fireplace. I don't believe that furniture over there is built in. I think that's just a loose piece of furniture, but you could do some kind of built-ins on that side. That's a big TV and there's plenty of room for more, uh, a larger TV, shiplap trim. All right, so going upstairs, this is such a cool floor plan, I love it. So they've got the wood tread going up. To the right right here is the bonus room, which I'm gonna show you after. Straight ahead takes you to the fourth bedroom and the third full bathroom. Boom. Really cool. And then you've got a fourth bedroom right here and they're just using this as another office area. Nice big window. Yeah. I'm out of breath from running upstairs. <clears throat> now, this is one of my favorite rooms. Look at this big bonus room. I mean, there's so much space up here. So here's a house that's only 2,500 square feet and they managed to squeeze in four bedrooms, a full bonus room, three and a half bathrooms, nice living room and kitchen. There's a dining area. I mean, this floor plan is just designed really well. So you've still got those built-in speakers. That's such a nice touch. Recess lighting, ceiling fan, nice big window right here. That's a giant TV. I think that's a 65 inch TV, maybe bigger. So yeah, there you have it. All right, let's go outside. And all this for $665,000. It's unheard of. Also, I don't think I mentioned, but lots of windows. You've got two, two there, two there, two there, and then you've got your door 
So like a lot of natural light coming in, it doesn't feel dark. I realize the floors, I mean, they probably look a little darker than they really are, but there's so much natural light and there's so much like recessed lighting, it doesn't feel dark in here. So I love that. I hate when houses feel just too dark and gloomy. All right. So another positive, they've got this big oversized covered patio. Let me see if I can get you guys a better view. So a covered patio. Oh, and an extra pad right here for your grill. So now the backyard has everything because it's also got a fence. And the backyard is just nice and flat. We talked about it. You, if you want a pool, you could put a pool back here. I don't know how tight it's going to be, but I mean, you definitely could fit a pool back here. It's got a nice fenced in backyard. So the fence is already done. So you don't have to spend the money on that. Grass is in nice shape. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, this house has it all. If you're like a small family looking for a house and you need all these bedrooms, it's got it. If you're someone that's just looking to downsize, you have a lot of space on the first floor. So if that's important to you, if you were like maybe looking for a one level home, this is a pretty good compromise. There's a lot of um, space on the first floor. I see that a lot where maybe one person in the family can't go up and down the stairs, but the other can. So you could kind of utilize both spaces. I'll look at the nice ceiling, ceiling fan. Yeah. Reflection of me. So just a really cool house. And I just think this kitchen and living area is just amazing as well. So. I, uh, I think that's about it, guys. So there you have it. So it's 2708 Cloister Lane in Thompson Station. Like I said, it's four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. It's got a bonus room. It's got three bedrooms downstairs. There's a half bathroom, bonus room upstairs, fenced in backyard, covered patio. There's a gas fireplace. You've got recessed lighting everywhere, built-in speakers everywhere, two-car garage, and it's located in Canterbury, which is known to just be a phenomenal neighborhood to live in. And it's in Thompson Station. Really easy access to get to 840 and 65 and Cool Springs, Franklin, and all that stuff. So, I think this is a great house, guys. And for $665,000, I think it's a good deal. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you like this house and you wanna buy it, make sure you call your agent right away and get them to schedule a showing. Or if you wanna reach out to me directly, just go to workwithmatt.com. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time, bye.